Hello, this is iPuff. Today is January 2nd, 2019. This is my second Timo log. I told you guys I was gonna upload this every single day, but I don't think I can do that. I'll probably do it every two or three days because I needed two or three days of experimenting the Timos um, of what I said I was gonna experiment on too. So, here are some matches. Um, I only went grass on dying and summonary for these matches. Even though that I said I was gonna try out the Electrocute. I did try out the Electrocute. And it actually dropped me to Diamond 2. From Diamond 1. So I had to try my best to get back up. And that those are the matches first. So Diamond 1. Um, one more win until the Master Tier. Uh, the reason why I stopped at this point yesterday is to make you guys come back watch. Yeah, I'll be streaming from 2 hours from now. So... Come watch this, yeah. I'm streaming at Twitch. Uh, Grass on Dying and Summonary. Against melee champions, I go with the Grass on Dying. And I've been testing out the chip shot uh, instead of going Taste of Blood. And it's been working out pretty, pretty well. The damage is pretty nice. I think it's because of the true damage, it's really good. And the Summonary, instead of going Taste of Blood once again, going on chip shot, and it's pretty good for the same reason. Uh, this is an against an Agali match. Against an Agali, I go Nullifying Orb with the flat 6 magic resistances. Instead of attack speed, I go with the 10 ability power. The reason is for this is that I just have to hit her really really hard and pressure her really hard in the early game um, until she hits a level 6. Starting from her 6, yeah, the... It's it's very difficult. I have to get as much advantage as possible until she hits six. Um, against the melee champions, I mean against the non mages, I still go with the mana flow band. So for example, like a queen or pantheon match, I still go with the mana flow band. Um, but against the mages, like a rise, a kenny, uh, a galai, yep, I do suggest the nullifying orb. I also tried out the Scorch by the way, but I think I'm gonna keep going with the Gathering Stone because Scorch does kinda low damage in the early game. Mm -hmm. That it's it, it doesn't really change my early game too much. Yeah, it doesn't affect too much. But late game Gathering Stone, it affects way too much. So much AP is given from Gathering Stone. Um, so that's my runes. Yeah, Electrocute does not work because uh, top laners don't allow me to proc the electrocute that often. Yep. They don't allow me to proc it. After they get hit by one auto or auto Q, they back off right away. So electrocute doesn't get used that often. Therefore, it's not that great. Mm -hmm. Timo has to kind of amplify on his poke damage more than his executing damage. I don't think Timo has that much of a great executing tools either. It's mostly it's just poke damage over times from auto, damage over time from the trap, just a poke. Um, Dark Harvest. Some people still like Dark Harvest and saying that Dark Harvest is easier to proc than any other runes. That is probably because that you are facing an unexperienced players, as in you're probably playing under Diamond. I think. I think after the Diamond, Dark Harvest gets to be kind of difficult to proc it. Yeah. Uh, what it means is that experienced players don't really go below 50% HP that well. Uh, if you think about it, especially as a top lane, if the Teemo is able to make the enemy top laner to below become a below 50% HP, that means that lane is pretty much over from that point. The jungler is going to come and pick up that top laner who is below 50% HP, right? So what it means is that they usually don't tend to go below 50% HP no matter what. And that's why it's hard to proc in the high tier uh, Dark Harvest. So there is that for the runes and the items. Oh yeah, I want to talk about this. The smite changes. Uh, well, the, root, the items hasn't gotten changed. The double ruby with the arm guard, just like last time. Uh, Lee and Nature, more than called. Smite Temo. Smite Teemo is not completely gone. It can still be possible, but the build order has to be different and it's not as efficient as last build was. What it is is that I, you know, the early game you can start with the Doran's Ring or Doran's Shield, but usually Doran's Shield though, uh, with the Ruby Crystal, and I have to build a Recurbo instead of this item, Skirmish Saber. 
so we still cannot use a smite against the top laner at all. Um, and then I have to get the uh, Blood Razor after the recovery, like right away. I cannot have a Matchet, I cannot have a Hunter Salesman, I cannot have the Skirmish Saber. If I have any of these, these items, then I will start getting a low gold by taking the minions. So minions are, let's say it's supposed to give me like 15 gold each, then it's gonna give me like half of it, like 8, 8 gold each. So it, it sucks to have any of these items as a laner, top laner. Um, so I have to keep the recurbo and complete, say, save the 1625 gold and complete the blood razor right away so that I don't get to have that debuff. So that's the how the top lane Teemo build is gonna work. I think I'll be probably testing this out more against like champion like a Scion or probably a Darius also. Because the item, the first item they build is this. Those tankers get the adaptive helm first item. And there's not a single item that can counter this as an ability power damage item wise. Nature suit? No. Leandri? No. Moral Omicron? No. There's not a single item that can counter this item. So, the, the only item to go for Teemo, I think, is just physical damage. <laughs> Blood Razor. There is a Blade Rune King, by the way. But I've tested out Blade Rune King, I don't think it's that good. Yeah, it's, it's too expensive and... It's, how much gold difference is it? 2,625 versus 3,200. 3, so about, what? About close to 800 gold difference? And Blood Razor does more damage than Blade Rune King. Yeah, for Taimo, Blood Razor does way, way more damage than Blade Rune King. But some people might say, hey, Blade Rune King has a slow and the uh, a life seal. But life seal is only 3%, and there is some life seal on Onhi now or something like that. I don't know. It, life seal isn't that great either. Yeah, and having attack damage on Taimo is not that great either. It's gotta be Blade Rune King. I mean, not Blade Rune King, sorry, uh, Blood Razor. So. That's the build that I'm gonna test more, uh, going this path, and that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I'll hit the challenger soon. Probably it's probably gonna take about two or three days to hit me, hit myself a challenger. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, thanks for leaving uh, the comments on the YouTube section, YouTube chat, and I will make sure to read more of those. And I will make up more videos out of uh, answering those questions next time. Bye-bye.